No way. No, I'd have to collect all my things. Uh, no, you do your... Dear when you're ready. I went, I went in in 1939, a six-month militia. It was a new scheme started. Um, that was in the uh, early of 1939. Towards the end, just before war was declared, I broke my arm playing rugby with it because we were mixing with regular soldiers in Aberdeen. I was called to the Garden Island, 1st Battalion, Island Division. Um, I came back. War was declared. I went to join the Home Guard. Was made a sergeant in the Home Guard because I was a fully trained soldier. And they were desperate. <laughs> Two months after I was in France. <laughs> Got called up and whisked away. And, uh, Don't walk away from me, Bob. I finished up, well, I got, you know, I finished up uh, on the um, Belgian border and had to come back fight my way back to Dunkirk. I came through Dunkirk safely. It was a bit hairy, that was. Uh, we was standing by on the, on the shores at Dover, in tents, uh, while the Battle of Britain was fought over the top of me. No. Uh, then I went back up to Aberdeen to call up. By that time, the magnetic mine was discovered. So, I was a half-trained electrician, so I got recruited into that, degouging the mines, exploding them. So we found out that put a magnetic beam around the boat, it would bring it up and get exploded. Uh, from that, when we got the top side of that, I went on the uh, combined operation, my time I cack. I went on four convoys to America, Canada, Nova Scotia. I didn't do any Russian ones. And uh, after having two survivors leaves, I decided I'd move myself out of that. So I went, uh, went on the Mediterranean cruises. By that time, we was 8,000 and we was went to Malta on that convoy after the one where the famous oil tanker was and they were desperate for oil and they landed there leaking. It was 1942. Uh, we did all sorts of dirty tricks in the Mediterranean and uh, I came back and I was recruiting into the signals then, our Corps of Signals. We went uh, from the Royal Corps of Signals up onto the Orkneys and uh, we formed Combined Operations then, which is a, the first command of, also in Dirty Six. We did two raids on Norway while the Germans were there and uh, my missus came up on leave there. We were training for the invasion, landing wet landings and cliff scaling. We did our cliff scaling down at uh, St Agnes Colmore, firing rockets up cliffs with ropes on, and then you scale up. The home guard was throwing flower bags at us, which they got excited, and the rock beside it, football, hit me in the chest and took me off. We did uh, uh, a big scheme there for landing, an infiltration behind the enemy lines and then we got issued with KD khaki drill outfit for topics and finished up on the Orkneys. <laughs> Flung a letter off in Glasgow we'd have to stand to let her know I was on my way because we didn't know and we built a camp on the Orkneys and um, from there we, uh, we were on radar then we did a few courses on radar and I went from there down the south and from there uh, I forget the name of that place now Iceland. and we went up, up north again to Aberdeen and from Aberdeen I went to Iceland from Iceland I, w I went across to Iceland on the King George V it was a battle cruiser right, and we did uh, radar 
all around Iceland and all around the Fair Isles in Greenland. Dirty tricks again. Sneaking in when he when the enemy wasn't looking. And uh, I came back by submarine to Aberdeen. That was an experience. I don't want that no more. And uh, from there we, we polished up on our signals again, telephone installation, the front line tactic. And I went down south to Grays and I, I would I went across to France on the Vasion and T plus one, the one day after the first lot, second day, at Aramanches. From Aramanches, we pushed inland, and Bayou, in Bayou itself, I got uh, all powder shotting up my back. And the Germans, we were walking past these streets like terrace houses, we walked past and I was at the end of the column. Company. I've spotted a, a German mortar team swinging the mortar around our way. Then they started clattering on the tiles and dropping down. I went over a 12 foot wall and when I was jumping off the top, I don't remember getting up the wall, but just as I was jumping off the top, there was this gentle push on my back and I got powder satin on it, pushed somewhere behind me. So I got that scraped out in the field hospital and uh, joined the holding battalions which they started then because they started building remnants of ones that shot uh, casualties they built a new unit up with all dibs and traps from different mobs so I joined the signals and I went to Antwerp to the signal station there where the, where the cable came from and we linked that up again and we met our first rockets there, B2s. You don't need two monsters in the B2s, it's not going. We'll just see, finished up and, and uh, in here now. Yeah, so we went up then into Holland. We got a lot of flying bombs over there, where we're down to it, and rockets, B1s and B2s. At one time, they counted 50 in the air at the same, same time. We were in a fl block of flats, and that's where. <laughs> We met Harbour for the first time, that stuff over there. Because they, they blew that many windows out, they couldn't get glass for them, so we, they sent us, it was American invention then, and in well, they put that in the wall, in the thing. And this block of flats was two stories above uh, all the buildings round about. So I could see that all these things flying across the city and dropping down. And as I said, I've counted 50 in the air at the same time. We came out of there and went into Holland. Um, and from Holland, I started doing couriers then, signal runs, and we went from Holland right through up to Hamburg. In fact, I was across the river from Hamburg when I watched it burning. It burned for about a week. Goodness, they made a good job of that in the area. And from there I went to uh, Flensburg on the Danish border and just at the end of the war uh, I moved into Denmark and they were still fighting there a month after the war was finished on the Hitler Youth and thanks. By that time the RAF had perfected the, the, uh, the best thing for tanks which was a mosquito with a cannon on and it would rip open the tank. And where, where we went to Oos, near the Frisian Islands, in Denmark, we passed going in, um, I should think about 60, 70 tanks, all dead inside, all were dead inside, all opened up with these mosquito cannons. And we stayed in Denmark for three months after I was finished. Then I became uh, a volunteer for war registration. We are digging the bodies up and registering them but to move to war services. And I've never eaten mm. great three salmon since. It was terrible. You have to watch for gangrene, take all precautions and then you put them back. And we went to 
up the houseway. So you right. finished up there, that's what you finished. In Wargrave registration, we left Denmark, went to Norway, through the edge of Sweden, uh, went to Danzig, and through the Polish corridor to Berlin. And Berlin at that time was a crazy mixed up place. It was full of Russians and Americans and English. And we got the mob from Berlin, so I came home there. Right? That's it. That's so good.